Hello and welcome to this unit where a comparison of the different hydrogen production methods is presented. When com comparing the different hydrogen production methods, we must take into account the interdependence between efficiency, the cost of investment, and the value of the byproducts obtained. Currently, natural gas reforming process is the least expensive and most frequently used processes for the production of hydrogen. Methane cracking is considered to have lower net production cost than reform as its low investment cost outweigh its relatively low efficiency. Because coal is very abundant and is expected to maintain its price in the future, research and development efforts are focused on coal-based processes where advanced methane cracking and coal cracking processes have great economic potential. On the other hand, the electrolysis process is the most expensive unless cheap electricity is available. Nevertheless, electrolytic hydrogen has a small but a stable market. It is preferred if demand is very fluctuating, small quantities are required or when high purity hydrogen is required. In the near term, and that is until 2030, hydrogen production from fossil fuels will remain the most cost competitive option in most cases. Except in the case of hydrogen produced from coal, fuel costs are the biggest single component of hydrogen production costs. Low carbon hydrogen produced with carbon capture, utilization and storage or from renewable uh, electricity is in most cases currently more costly than hydrogen generated from fossil fuel. The cost of hydrogen produced from natural gas is generally between 1.5 and 3 dollars per kilogram of hydrogen, while for, for hydrogen generated from renewable electricity, mainly solar photovoltaic or onshore wind, it is generally around 2.5 and 6 dollars per kilogram of hydrogen. The future competitiveness of low carbon hydrogen mainly depends on gas and electricity prices. As we can see here in the graph, at low uh, gas prices, renewable electricity must reach a cost range below $10 per megawatt hour for electrolysis to become cost competitive with natural gas, with carbon capture, utilization and storage. Higher gas prices will also make renewable electricity cost competitive. At a gas price of $11 per mega BTU, renewable electricity will be competitive at up to around $30 and $45 per megawatt hour. Regarding the environmental aspect, the CO2 impact of different hydrogen production technologies varies widely as we can see here in the future. The carbon intensity of hydrogen from natural gas without carbon capture, utilization and storage is roughly half that the one of coal without carbon capture, utilization and storage. As for the electrolysis technology, the CO2 intensity depends mainly on the CO2 intensity of the electricity input. The conversion losses during electricity generation mean that using electricity from natural gas or coal power plants to electro electrolyze water could result in higher CO2 intensities than directly using natural gas or coal for hydrogen production. Thank you for your attention.